Hi, this is Kyle from Gun Gamers, and today we're going to actually be doing a review for once, and uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Desert Tech SRS made by Silverback. Uh, this is a licensed replica of the Desert Tech SRS. Uh, the Desert Tech SRS in its real guise comes in a couple of lengths. It comes in a 16 inch barrel, a 22, a 26, and also an 18. The in the airsoft variant, they have the 16, this is the 22, and then they have a 26. They also have corresponding matching cans for the different calibers as well as different end pieces for the different calibers. This is the SRS flat, you know, just barrel cover, threading cover. This does not actually come with the gun. It comes with a plastic flash hider that is a piece of junk and you need to remove it. And it doesn't come with a metal one, which I think it should for its price. Um, in terms of price point, this gun right now, the sh Shortest version is $500, the mid-length is $550, and then the longest is $575. Now, however though, this is one of those guns where coupon codes apply, so I really ended up actually picking this gun up for just over $400. Bucks. So if you want this, keep an eye out for a coupon code. Um, there's actually two generations of this gun. There is the regular, uh, which you see here before, and then there is a sport. The big difference between the sport and the regular is this has a one piece barrel and it has a little bit of a longer handguard and it has uh, a monopod which is not attached. Uh, the sport version has a hollow barrel with spacers and no monopod. I don't have the monopod in mind because it's actually kind of a piece of junk. Um, it's rapidly disassembled itself like three times on the field now so I have simply removed it at this point and won't use it. Um, but the reason why I got this gun is I was looking for a gun that you could use out of the box. It was a plug and play sniper. Um, and I didn't quite end up being truly 110% plug and play, but this is for the money. I think this is the best way to do it. Um, all I ended up doing is I swapped a bigger spring into it and I did end up changing the barrel to an R hopped barrel. It takes AEG barrels, but out of the box, you could easily push this to a 250 foot gun just by swapping the spring and getting some heavy BBs for it. The magazines are like a steel external magazine. They will rust. Uh, they hold 30 rounds, but the one thing you need to be careful of is they, uh, when you take them out, they'll lose the last four or five BBs. So when it stops feeding, you could actually just tilt the gun and feed another BB into it because it has a lot in the feeding tube for some reason. The one thing I really dislike about it when it comes to the magazine changes, since this is a bullpup, it's awkward in the first place, but then for some reason, uh, they made it so these mags are very hard to insert and extract even when you're pressing the magazine release button. They're not drop free. You can adjust the screw here and here, which that helps, but they're also body screws. So it's kind of like a balance between holding it together and having the drop free mags. I think they could do a little bit better on that design, honestly. Um, the only other thing it's missing here is there is normally a rubber cover here. I took that off at some point. I don't know, you'll probably lose yours too. The hop up for this thing is what's really unique and kind of sets this apart from other snipers. Rather than just traditional hop straight on top, it uses two 45 degree hops. And the advantage to that is it allows you, if you're shooting a BB out there, and you're getting curved left or right, you can adjust the individual hop ups to dial that out, which I think is a huge advantage, especially on the field when you notice you're shooting crooked rather than have to be like, oh, I have to take the whole gun apart now. That does me a lot of good. No, you can just fix it real fast, which is nice. The entire gun disassembles really easy. I think there's a total of like five tools you need to take the entire gun apart, which is great. Uh, changing the springs is super easy. All you gotta do is pop this piece out, comes out and you can swap the springs, take the bolt out, nice and easy. Um, now this has specific brand springs. I've heard they're compatible with APS, but I just use the SRS springs because they're not expensive. They're 15 bucks a piece. Um, they start, the gun comes with like a 120, so it's actually not very powerful out of the box, so you really should buy it with a spring for your respective limit. Um, it, it lists on the website, there's a guide for going 140, 160, and 170, and then there's also a 150. Their 150 is really close to their 140, which is why I think they don't list it on their website. I bought it and I ended up chronoing right around two joules with the 150 and then I thought well if that's going to shoot under I should probably go with the 170 that was a little too much and I had to clip coils off of it um, so if you're looking to be around 500 with twos uh, you're probably still going to want to be around the 150 I think the 160 is going to be a little hot unless you're running the 16 inch barrel um, 
FPS is pretty consistent. I'm getting a fluctuation of around five FPS. Not a big deal, especially if you're using really heavy weight BBs. Overall, this gun is about an eight pound gun. It's very solid built. It feels very solid in the hands. It's got some seams and stuff in it, but in terms of how it feels, it doesn't creak or wobble or do anything weird. Um, it's great. The barrel change system is actually very, it's pretty much a quick change. Um, on this side of the gun, you'll see there is an unlock bolt. You just switch it between locked and unlocked. If you want to take the barrel out, you switch that to unlock. Then you just loosen these four screws here, and then your entire barrel will just pop right out with the hop-up assembly. So it's really easy to change the front end out if you want to. And for changing the entire handguard out, again, there's just one screw here. The entire thing twists out. Super easy, nice to work with. Uh, it has an adjustable cheek riser. I've never used it because in airsoft, you usually have face protection. You don't need more riser. It's not a, it's not a thing that you need. Uh, it is a direct attach rail system, which is okay. That's what the real one is. I would have preferred something a little different, but it is true to the real one. In terms of performance out of the box, I would say I'm shooting probably minus when wind takes it. Um, anyone up to about 250 feet, if I've got a full silhouette, they're in trouble with this thing. I'm probably going to get them. Uh, it's, I would say it's a direct competitor to the Novrich gun. I would say the Novrich gun is pretty close. It may, I haven't shot them back to back, but I would say they're in the same field. If you want a plug and play sniper, you want this. And I would recommend getting the sport one because the sport one, if you get a 25% coupon code, you can get it for 300 bucks. So 300 bucks, you have a plug and play sniper that you can push to 250 feet with a spring change. It's a good way to go. If you want to upgrade the barrels, you can. People suggest a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, one thing I definitely did do, I did swap my barrel and I did put a red, uh, Mad Bull red bucking into it. It wasn't a huge change. The big difference is, is with the R-Hop barrel, now I have much more lift. Currently this is lifting four sixes out to 250 feet. I feel that if I had four eights, five O's, or even if somebody makes something higher before you get into ceramic ball bearings, um, you could push much further with this gun. It has the hop to do it. Uh, it's just the BBs have to exist for it. So I think that's a great option. You definitely could have a 300 foot gun with this with the right scenario if you're willing to do the holds for it. Um, you know, there's all these people, oh my gun shoots 300 feet, or you see a video online of somebody shooting 300 feet. Yeah, if you notice they're doing like a 10 foot hold on it, yeah, this gun will do that too. It's just like any of the other ones and how you wanna set your zero. Uh, for anyone wondering, this is the scope I have on here is the Primary Arms ACSS scope. It's a real steel scope. I really shouldn't be running it on it, but I put it on because my airsoft scope wasn't working real well. Um, it's a really fun one to six scope, but it does cost almost as much as the gun. So get a, get a shield. Mine, mine got lost today, so I'm gonna get another one. Other than that, I think we'll do um, a video review of the performance over it but overall if you're looking for an out-of-the-box sniper I would say either you want to look at the Novrich or you want to look at this and for the price point I would look at this that's my thoughts on it and now let's do some shooting shit uh, let's try one at the 200 first okay all, right. all right let's send one at 200 Send one more. Oh, that one hit the wind tuck it a little bit. Let's try one more. There we go. All right, let's go to 250. Oh, just to the left. That's good. I think that went over it a little. Shot over 250 feet. Let's try it one more time. That's good. Yep. That dinged it. Hey. Oh, that went over. My bad, that went over. That was me. Shouldn't hold so much, let's see. I'm shooting over 250 feet. Hang on, I'm just gonna have to do a no hold.
Didn't shoot. No, no rounds or? Yeah, it's the last couple of rounds in it, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's try one more. Left. I think that went just the left. Getting a little wind at 250 feet. That was just to the right. I actually think it hit the brush in front of it and got knocked off course. Yeah, there, we're getting a little bit of wind play at this distance. That was just to the right. Yep. Last one. I mean, to be fair, you're man size at that distance. Oh, yeah. That's good. That pinged it. So yeah, you're getting a little wind play at that distance, but it's not the gun, it's just the elements. So, not bad. Thank you for watching this video from Gun Gamers. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. If you want to see more content from us, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support the channel, be sure to click the link below to buy a patch. Praise Judy.